We're live. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, so welcome. Uh, we have here Simone Molasses and Dr. David Kubis. Yay. Hello. Both of them from Egypt, maybe in the same well, room. We're, we're, we're in Egypt. We're not yeah. from Egypt. Okay. Yeah. I'm Australian well, and David's from Austria. That quite often gets confused, though, as well. Because yeah. people say, Australia, Austria. <laughs> yes, this is why we have T-shirts in Vienna, no kangaroos in Austria. Yeah. So, well, how does it get any better? <laughs> I saw there was a counter in Vienna for people that were supposed to fly to Australia, but they flew to Austria instead. <laughs> like a help counter if you miss your flight to Australia. But I will say, Cesar, the amount of times that I've said when someone asks me where I'm from, and because when you say it so quickly and I'll go, Australia, and they'll go, Austria? So <laughs> it actually does happen. It's a yeah. it's a legit thing that people get confused with. Yeah. <clears throat> I, mean, I totally can see, like, if you're booking a flight in the middle of the night and, you know. Yep. <laughs> um, so we're here to talk about business. The business yes time. let's get down to business business time yeah. talk about business and let's talk about the difference um we want to invite the world to be mm. in business yeah. um when i simone and i are traveling together for about a week now having amazing conversations having creative ideas creating a lot um and i had a conversation with you yesterday simone when i said you know what it, it became normal um to be creative to have no judgment to don't look at what's wrong uh, avoid failure um and be perfect and professional before you start otherwise you won't get clients other won't, otherwise you um you'll be just judged um and i said that what i love most about the tools of business done different is that that no judgment that space of no judgment with you in business with you with money how you start, how you do it. Um, and that's that's rare. <laughs> that, that doesn't exist. I mean, it became my reality, which I'm incredibly grateful for. Um, but I found out out there, not a lot of people yeah. function that. Yeah. You know, just to comment on that too, because David was, he was saying this to me at breakfast and uh, and I said, Gary Douglas, the founder of Access Consciousness, said to me not very long ago, uh, I was talking about something and he said, Simone, he said, you forgot to make business hard. He said, business is ease, joy and glory for you. And it was the one thing that I was always so confused of why people would do this thing of like putting on a different hat of, you know, you have your life and, and then you switch off to it. And then when you go to business, it's like serious face, you know, and all of this. And it's like, why would you choose serious face in business? Like this to me is such a, it's so malleable and it's this flow that you can have with your entire life. Like for me, you know, I mean, I went to the gym today and did it like a light workout and I was on the treadmill. But for me, it's like when I'm doing something like that and I'm looking out at the garden, ideas come. And I'll so often pick up my phone and write myself a note or something, but I don't exclude business from any part of my life I allow it to seep in and to be there all the time I mean everyone who works with me a big joke is because I always go I was just in the shower and I have great ideas when I'm in the shower <laughs> yeah, well there's one thing Simone because I I talk about you and that joy and fun of business a lot and a lot of people can afford to be that because you are already running a multi-million dollar business so you've worked hard towards that level and now you have ease with it but i know from talking to you you always had that yeah. <laughs> yeah. um so a message from you to everyone who goes oh i need to be perfect i need to work on that it can't be that easy you have to be professional um fun is over this is business mm. how did you how did you do you rem do you actually cognitively remember how you started <laughs> No, I know I um I know I was from a really young age, like you know when they at school and they say to you, uh, what do you want to do when you leave school? You know, and you've got to like do all your different topics and subjects and blah blah blah. And I was like, I don't know. And the two things I wanted to do when I left school was travel the world and own my own business. And people used to say to me, Well, what sort of business? And I was like, I don't know. 
I don't know yet. Like I just, I just know I want to own my own business because for me, it was such a way that you could uh, get what it, whatever it is that you enjoyed in the world, you could you could do that, or whatever it is that you wanted to get out there in the world, you could do that. And and it was so malleable for me. And this year, I've been watching I don't know a whole different documentaries and and, and watching different people and how they are in the world and these businesses that I think are so innovative. And I'm really determined to see how many businesses we can get the access consciousness tools to and really inspire them and sort of like to go, keep going, please keep going, please keep going. Because one of the things I've been looking at is, you know, if you look back before 1970s in history, we didn't rely on government. Government set different rules and regulations and, and that was fine. But we had a lot of businesses and a lot of private businesses who would create I guess, the different trajectory of how we lived. And I would like to empower that again. Somewhere I think we got lost and we we made our government so friggin' powerful and potent. And what if we had so many different people creating what they desire, their dreams, let's say their dreams, and being successful at it, making a profit monetarily, but also making a profit energetically by helping others as well. Um, and I watched this documentary recently. It's called The New Breed. Uh, it's fabulous. Uh, New Breed. And it's, um, I think it's like called The New Breed Social Entrepreneurs or something like that. And it's lots of, you know, younger people and different businesses that they've created making money, making sure that they make money. Because I think a lot of people go, oh, I'm going to help someone and I have to be a not-for-profit, which can I just add, a not-for-profit doesn't mean you don't make a profit, by the way. That's the, one of the biggest lies that people you know, think think but these guys are also like hey I want to make money I want to be really successful and have a lot of revenue whilst I'm coming up with these innovative ideas and also helping the world that I want to inspire so many more people to be that and follow their friggin dreams because what you are aware of is different from anybody else in the world and what you are aware of and what you can choose and what you can create can change the future of this planet do you have a quick tool that we can start using right now to start boosting our income like something that we can ask for, something that we can be? Um, I would say even ask, asking questions, but asking the question of what can I receive today that I wasn't willing to receive yesterday? Because interesting when you ask mm -hmm. to boost your income, okay, there's some action you can take and there's some doing this and, you know, say yes. Like stop looking at things and going, oh, but that's not much money. Just say yes. Like it might be $10 or $100 that you receive from that. You have no idea where that's going to lead to. So what can you receive today that you weren't willing to receive yesterday? Because we are so quick to say no and like block things out and put barriers up rather than go, all right, let's go. Let's do it. What can I receive today that I wasn't willing to receive yesterday? That's brilliant because mm -hmm. most of the times people wouldn't go uh – they have determined how the income should come. Mm. So I would actually ask the question when you said, how can we boost our income? What have you defined your income as? And how have you wow. concluded that this will show up by more people in your class, more private sessions, more of that? What if, what if you allowed yourself to go beyond that and include coming money through your business into your life from everywhere? not yeah. just what you are used to or what you have defined it as, um, which is one of the great yeah. gifts of business done different to allow to receive from everywhere. And of course, the business has a certain purpose. Um, it's, it's, it's not that either or, it's everything. Oh, yeah. And I'm just laughing, Caesar, because this is what class is going to be like with me and David, because we're not really giving you much of a chance to talk because yeah. we both are so excited. But I just want to add something here too. You asked for this quick question, right? It's actually not a quick question. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. And you've got to put the work in. But the work, I think, can be so fun and joyful. I started today. I have not done this. I looked at my Google Docs and everything. I don't think I've done this since 2019, I realized. But I started today to work out what it costs to run my life. So January 2024... I'm doing this doc again. And every single time I did this doc, within three months, I was making that amount of money and more. So yes. it, it, it does take some work. And when you come to a business done different class, because that's what we're talking about here, 
we can go through stuff like that. There is, there's these really unique tools in the manual that you get, that you get to take home. And there's these quick questions that you can change the energy of your day. But man, you've got to put the work in. Yeah. This is a marathon and it, it, it can be such a fun marathon to run. Hmm. And just one, another quick question. When, or when do you guys have a business on different or where or how can we find this? You can find it. Uh, <laughs> you can actually go to, I think you can go to the Access Consciousness website, but you can go to simonemillisses.com forward slash Dubai BDD. Oh, look, something you prepared earlier. Um, <laughs> and it's with myself and David, it's in, I think, four days or three and a half days yeah. now. So it's live yes. in uh, Dubai, obviously, but you can jump online. But come yeah. to Dubai. Come to Dubai. I, I had a, I had a, a Zoom with the Europeans and everybody was like, okay, can we turn online? Because they have already concluded and decided going to Dubai is too much of an expense. And then I said, you know what? Google your flight to Dubai. And you, they came up with 260 euro for a return ticket because there is Fly Dubai. And I mean, Caesar, you in Mexico. Have you? Do you know that Emirates flies Mexico City, Dubai direct? Yeah, direct. See, yeah. so it's you, just it's just one flight. Come on. Yeah, and I was actually <laughs> seeing it, and it's way cheaper to go to Dubai than for me to go to PB, like without the flight, but like stay and all that yeah. stuff is way cheaper to go to Dubai than go to beach here in Mexico. So yeah. can I just like what you guys just did there, right? This is part of how I be in business is don't assume something because there's so many presumptive realities. Do the research, like play. I mean, I remember the first time I was, I was always flying economy and struggling to get an economy ticket from Australia to California. You know, like it wasn't easy for me to buy that. And then throughout my years, I started doing things like going, well, how many points would I need to upgrade? What would I need to get those points? You know, and then I remember the day that I looked from business class to first class and I went, wow, there wasn't much difference. There was such a small amount of difference to fly that I went, oh, I can do that. Like, check it out. Like, if you don't look, you'll never have the information. And for me, that is such a, a great way to expand your business is, is research. Listen to podcasts. Like, listen to other people. When you hear stuff, you're like, oh, that, that, that. Because each and every single one of us has different ideas, has a different business, and the way you grow it is going to be the way you grow it. But you can receive from so many people around the world. Like, I get so excited. Gosh, yes. And please, that also because you said at the beginning, Simone, that the government controls so much. Not yet. It is absolutely true. But just because the government controls everything doesn't mean they can stop you, limit you, or block you. Even with all these government regulations, um, there's always a way around. And please question it. We hear something, we assume it, we buy into it, and then done. Question everything. And there is even ease with getting all your paperwork done, your taxes done, your license done. Um, and that's, that also will be part of BDD because you, you, you have to be functional in this reality. We don't want you to do the radar. We want you to be bulletproof and fly above the radar where you have your things ready so you ha don't have this energetic hiding behind you. Oh, I don't want the government to see me. Oh, I don't want the tax authorities to notice I'm making money. That limits your income stream. So be audit ready, <laughs> which is one of the favorite conversations that I have with Simone. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it, we love it tax be... planning. We <laughs> love tax planning. David and I are so good at it and we love it. And we also yeah. don't think we've got it right. We're constant extrapolation. So that can be, you know, this business on different class will be whatever you guys ask. Like we have a manual, mm -hmm. we have, you know, uh, things that we, we will talk about, but the questions you ask is where we'll go. So. Well, if they I get a chance to ask, I think they all need a, a right voice for you class with Chris to find a way to stop us talking and get a chance <laughs> to speak. <laughs> Poor Cesar is I know. trying to jump in. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say that I think that's what's so refreshing about you guys, because I can probably count with all the fingers in one hand the amount of people that have said that they like doing taxes. So I love that. And, you know, what who, can who, are, who are the other three? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Our account, 
You know, we did a we did this class um, on tax, and it was such a small class. The amount of people that that ended up coming, but David and I were got so excited about it, and we did this class anyway. And there was quite a few, like I think at least fifty percent of the people that attended the class pinged us within the next month or so afterwards, going, "Oh my god, I've just changed like this, this, and this," and they changed the way their business was functioning with tax, or they got money back, or they did something like they started to play with it. And that's the thing. You have to use the tools. Like you can talk about the tools, but you've got to use the tools. Mm-hmm. Yep. Love that. Use them. Hey, I want to read this quote that I just, um, I wrote in our private chat. So for translators, um, or Bo, I think is translating. She's wonderful. Um, this is from Gary Douglas. And I found this quote this morning when I was looking through some notes for something. And it just really reiterated the way I feel about business and it gave me such a sense of peace and not from this quickly we've got to do something quickly more from the expansion of what is possible so this quote is because of the future um well he said sorry business of the future will be a willingness to receive not based on a need for money or anything other than what contribution will this be to create the future i desire Everything you do will be about creating the future you desire to have on planet Earth. And really looking at that, like everything you desire will be, everything you create will be about the future you desire to have on planet Earth. The piece that, this was from a class, the piece that he said after that too is those people who are actually willing to create their business from looking at what future are we creating on the planet, they're going to be the ones that end up having money. And I find that every single time I choose for the joy of it, I choose for, the future of the planet i choose for this like what makes me happy my company is actually called whatever makes you happy like that's my company that i run everything through and and choose for the ease of it then more money shows up like getting stressed about money doesn't create more money like having that ease and that joy oh yeah the joy of business with money is what creates more money showing up so you know if you like destroy and uncreate all of your points of view about business and what you've currently chosen and what can we choose next? Like blank slate, blank canvas, let's go. I love that question. So what now? You know, mm. all this, what was going on and how difficult and, you know, all the struggle. Yeah, and all of that is correct. And what now? What are you choosing now? Mm. Um, that is what helps me a lot. And I, I do get into that kind of mm, <clears throat> once in a while, but I also find ways to kind of get myself out of it again. So this is not about avoiding to have no. those. No, be ready for those moments, and then that's just- actually why I started doing my my thing today because I was a little weirded out about money today, and mm-hmm. uh, because this has cost me like a small fortune to come over this side of the world, and and I started to look at things, and I went, oh, but instead of getting funky about it and getting you know, upset about it or anything like that, I I sort of expanded my awareness out and went, okay, there's a much bigger picture here too. Like what we've created here in Cairo, Egypt is you cannot put a monetary value on that, right? But actual, it's cost me a lot of money to be here because I came here for quite a few days and blah, 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 all of that. And so I started to look at all of my expenses, but I don't create my life or my business based on that. But I realized I hadn't done my, what does it cost to run my life and how does this all go? So I was had a day here and I was like I'm going to start doing this again to get more clarity and that's the thing it's like you don't wake up every day and we're like everything is joyful and everything is right and perfect it's not but how are you going to deal with it what are you going to what tool are you going to use next and that's that's the joy for me and and I love this perspective of you can have the awareness of the now and what it costs to be alive now but also Mm. the awareness of what you can contribute to the future and the earth with your business Yeah. yeah That. Well, business is like consciousness. It includes yeah. everything and judges nothing. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And I think here in Mexico, we have to give up a little bit the point of view of like evil American capitalists that <laughs> the business just destroys. Yeah, like... Well, how about creating that and go, you know what? We, we are Mexico. Uh, what mm-hmm. are we doing today? Yeah. So we enjoy yeah. our lives and we have fun our way. Um, yeah. Do you know, can I tell one of my stories, my favorite, like 
you know, diehard story when people, you know, do Dios mio and all of this stuff and whatever. Do you know Cesar Milan, right, the dog whisperer, who's Mexican? He's very, very successful. He has a TV show that's all over the world. It's translated in many different languages. You know, he has a lot of stuff going on. And he's Mexican. And the way he got to America was he was a wetback, which is, if anyone doesn't know, is means that he swam to America and had nothing. And look at him now. And I'm always like, tell me, tell me what your story is again of why you're so like down and out. Like you, you, if you can wake up and you have blood running through your veins, you're in business. You've got to choose. Love that. Hmm. Last time I checked, I have blood running through my veins. Let's go. <laughs> and if you think it's too late, you're too old, the story I always tell is, do you know how old Gary Douglas was when he started Access? <clears throat> and look what he created since then, a multi-billion worldwide company where you can actually find bus facilitators in the same way you mm. find a can of Coca-Cola. Um, very, very few businesses are so yeah. spread out worldwide. Um, like access. So yeah. um, I was actually seeing that access is in more countries than KFC. So that's very fucking cool. Do you know, you just mentioned KFC. I was just thinking, okay, Colonel Sanders, right? Do you know how old he was when he came up with the award winning recipe for KFC? 82. Wow. No, really? 82 years of age. So you talk about Gary Douglas being, I think Gary was like late 40s or 50 or something like that. 52, he, I think, yeah, with his first started, yeah. yeah, but Colonel Sanders, I mean, not that I think it was a total gift, like the <laughs> award-winning recipe for KFC. I was just was, wondering, what, what, what was the award-winning about it? Well, that's what they call it, award-winning recipe for, <laughs> you know, fried chicken. <laughs> 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 so don't you worry, Caesar. You're not too old. Don't worry. <laughs> I just have to wait another sixty years. So <laughs> and then Relax. you successful. Oh, I see. Now people are going to go. Oh, I've got plenty of time. I'll just wait. Yeah. <laughs> um. So awesome. if any one of you out there watching this would like to join us, you can join online. But don't forget to check out the airfare to actually come to Dubai and get an Airbnb or a hotel. Um, the experience or probably just the idea of looking at it is already the change um, yeah. that is required for you to have a different point of view from now on. <laughs> yeah. And and also, I was just quickly, I was having a conversation with David the other day and you said something to me. Um, and I loved it. You said you always challenge yourself with everything. Like David doesn't, and I've known, because I've known him for quite a while too, and we will have a lot of conversations about business, money, investments, et cetera, and help each other out. Like, oh, hey, I've got this going on. And it's like, oh, what about this? And da, da, da. Like, and, and that's what will be for you. And I noticed and when David said, I always challenge myself. And I said, how? What do you mean by that? And he was like, well, with investments or, you know, say with, I mean, he's got real estate like all over the world. He doesn't just have real estate where his home is. He's got real estate in other places. And I was asking him questions about that too because I think people get really comfortable with what they choose and then just love to bitch and moan about what they don't have. Well, mm -hmm. what if you challenged yourself? What if what if even coming to the Business Done Different class was a challenge for you? That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see you then. I'm excited to see you there or online in Dubai starting on the 17th of January, 17th, 18th and 19th. And let's see what we can change, choose, create or be to have that business that we, you know, the idea is you wake up with a big smile on your face and go, okay, I got this. Let's have another awesome day. No matter what shows up, I have the tools. Um, yeah. That's more or less how yeah. I see summarize business done different you got this let's go <laughs> and we will pause and let you ask questions we promise <laughs> yes well, we can hand out these little you know red signs that they have <laughs> and then they can just lift their hands in the class and then we know time to shut up <laughs> 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 like we can have one sign that is like you have been talking for one hour non-stop <laughs> 
gosh, oh I'm gosh, so. This is going to be a hard class, David. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. And what else is thank possible you. now? I love thank, you. thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you for, for translating. Bye. Bye. Bye.